trucks, trailers, trucks and trailers, trucks, trucks, trailers, trailers, trucks and trailers. Don't want to haul your shit because you don't want to get hit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, dude. I'm not going to give you snot because I don't want the shot. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Grunt Speak Live, episode 112. I'm Toxic Male, and that's Terrence Pond. What's up, you tangy, tango titty twisters? You guys are making me drink. <laughs> Jesus. But it's good news today, man. If you guys haven't seen this, hopefully this doesn't get any sort of copyright strike. I checked it out, but oh, man. Uh, first of all. Canadia. We're gonna. Re- we're going. We have to breath. tell people the code words. The code words. Yes. All right. We're gonna call this the rigor parade in Canada. Yes, because if you haven't noticed, uh, the lamestream media over here really doesn't want to talk about this. They're ru- they're running silent with it. The- um, as of this morning, uh, Stix Hexenhammer actually mentioned it. He's like, yeah, the, 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 he cannot find one legacy media outlet in this country that's covering this. All right. So please get a hold of your buddies, send them this stream because yes. we're probably, we're going to talk about it and then a little bit more on the alt tech thing. Yes. But this oh. video is currently available on YouTube. Oh, we also have to. We have an individual in the uh, rigor parade. Yes, who's giving us real time updates. Yes, Greg. Yeah, okay. we're not going to say his full name. Godspeed to you, sir. But, but thank you so much, Greg. Yeah, this video is currently available on YouTube. Just in case it goes away, um, if you guys know how to rip it, go right ahead, repost it to your heart's content. But this is uh, in Manitoba, <clears throat> the rigor parade coming through. Yeah, Yeah, the reports are through the roof on this from independent voices. Mm -hmm. Look at that. All that support. Mm -hmm. It's kind of sad that they have to have, uh, you know, thousands upon thousands of truckers from the lower 48 go up there. Riggers. (laughs) Up from the lower 48 to go up there and bail out the Canadians. Oh, it's insane, dude. I'll show you the, the figures. We'll let this play in the background a little bit. Yeah, this is totally just a minority. Uh, Trudeau is trying to say that the yep. uh, rigor parade is nothing but just a small minority of extremists and white supreme pizzas, of course. But also, let's let's look at this. It's going to be 11 degrees here in Detroit in two hours. Yeah. In Canada, Ooh, it's cold. fucking stupid, like Ill- illogical cold. Yeah. And all these people gathered up in there. Yeah. And I'll show you the figures right here, guys. Check this out. All right, now. 15,000 riggers from Cuckafornia stand, 10,000 riggers from Michigan, 5,000 from Ohio, 7K from Illinois, 10K from Texas, 5 from New York, 5K from Washington State, and over 5K from Florida. All joining in. Do you, do you, first of all, all right, do you know what that is, right? That's an army. Oh. But this, they're bringing rigs instead of, uh, you know, Un- ungays. Yes. Okay. Now, but but watch. This is an example of exactly how far the left is outnumbered on this thing. Yep. This was not really planned. I mean, they started it and it just blew up because this people is- are chomping at the bit. Because not only is <laughs> is the uh, you know the government of uh, Kanukistan you know going off the rails, yep. but it's also happening here in, in the states. Mm-hmm. It's taking place in Germany, the UK, France. It's going off the hook. Yep, uh, Manchild Trudeau is definitely living up to the legacy of his sperm donor. That's for sure. He, he loves his tyranny. Yeah, and. One of the main reasons lamestream media is not covering this because they're terrified. Oh, yeah. Because they know what comes next. Yes. If this... <laughs> they're trying to pass this off, as, like I said, extremisms and white supreme pizza. In fact, they even have some cucks on Twitter trying to say that that this isn't even about this. It's about protesting snowy road conditions and that all of the videos and photos of this happening are just photoshopped. Yeah. Okay, this was all shot, like, yesterday and today. It's posted now. 
And for them to do you really the think that they have the manpower and the special effects know-how to put together this much CGI in such a short period of time? I mean, we talked about this earlier, and I yeah. said, if I had asked you to do this, you'd have told me to fuck off. Exactly. You're like, fuck you, Pop. You, know like, you, you, fucking you want me to track Mac what? You want to track Matt that stuff? You want me to rotoscope? You don't even know what rotoscoping is. It sounds bad. <laughs> it, it sounds, sounds bad. like something you need <laughs> anesthesia for. I call my buddy Andrew. I ask him to rotoscope stuff. He's like, really? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Rotoscope, it sounds like uh, getting a camera ran up your ass, which oh. I've had done three times. Uh, perhaps they have something in common there. Yeah, know. maybe. Maybe. I don't know. But yeah. Share this video. The link is on redonkulous.com and, and it's or, yeah. or better yet, go to BitChute and Brighteon and Rumble. Yes. Because that stuff is all over there. It's very limited on YouTube. Yes. Quite fantastical. Or testicle if you prefer. I'd rather not have a testicle. <laughs> <laughs> we got a Billy Von Bomb in the chat. How you doing, good sir? And we have a special guest on the phone, actually. Uh, Amen. Joining us on Discord, the Wango Tango man himself is joining us. Reaper, I hope you're there. We got Reaper01 on the line from Discord. Yeah. Can you hear us? Oh, oh here What's he going comes. What's on, my fellow free-range fornicators? Ah! Yeah! <laughs> and he's got his 10-year-old nephew joining us as well. He must be the youngest Redonkulous fan out there. I know. He and I, you know, his his nephew and I had a little discussion before we started the show. It's outstanding. He's a wild man. Fifth grader. Hey, Razor. <laughs> outstanding. Hey, Razor, come here. Oh, here he comes. Here we go. Say hello to your fellow Eskimo brothers. <laughs> 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 oh, please don't tell me he knows what that means. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> oh, my God. What's up, wild man? I'm honored to have you here, man. I really am. I wanted to speak to you, man. <laughs> Outstanding. That's a damn good answer. All right. Awesome, man. So I hear... You got another Wango Tango story? We got a fresh Wango Tango straight from the man horse's mouth right here. Yeah. And be careful. Don't become the gimp. Don't become the gimp, dude. You don't want that. No. Got you. Got you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, get, your, get your uncle back on. <laughs> All right. All right. Mm. Yep. All right. So, uh, right. Please tell me that your nephew doesn't know what the gimp is. Or Eskimo no, brothers. No, thank God. God. Good. No, good. Thank no. God. Right. I have no intention of ever teaching him that ever. Okay, good. Ever. Winning. Winning. Yes. yes uh, so we we hear that you have a fresh, fresh, like Wango Tango, just so choice from, what did you say, last night? It's one shower away. Last night. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, what do you last got, night. man? Yeah, fill us in. So, I'm at work. Everything okay. is fine. I go on break, and I get a call from this girl. Mm -hmm. You say, hey, I've had a hard day. I need you to come through and help me out with something. Uh, I'm like, okay, cool, no problem. Now, strike one, you're a single mother. Mm. Stupid. <laughs> no. Okay. But she doesn't even know my actual name. That's, that's all the better. At all. So I go over there. Everything's cool. And we get down to business. All right. So you were just basically visitor penis number one? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> so. Okay, okay. I like it. I like it. I have this chick folded <laughs> over on her bedroom floor. I'm going to work. Going to work. I like it. The next thing I hear is. Uh -oh. Mommy? Oh, no! Oh! Mommy? Oh, no! Anti hydraulic. And I'm like, oh my, oh my Lord in heaven. <laughs> We're wrestling, so, go away. It sounded like you said load in heaven, so that's kind of fitting right there. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, no, no, she's a single mother. No, 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 no. no. I, I gotcha. No loads for you. Yeah, no loads for you. Mm -hmm. Come back one year. <laughs> <laughs> so, 
So she crawls over to open the door. I'm like, what are you doing? What? And I literally jump back and I hide in the shadow of the wall because the lights are off. Okay. Now that's wise. In my head, I'm like, yo, am I black enough <laughs> to stay hidden <laughs> in the shadow of this wall? All right. So in the, in the army, we called them night fighters. <laughs> <laughs> They're not reasoning out, okay, as long as I keep my eyes closed and I don't smile, she won't see me. All right. So she's literally... Talking to her daughter, ass naked. Oh no! Explaining to her. Yeah. Explaining to her that you no, know, I was just stretching her legs, stretching her back, and the third. She's like, "Mommy, what's that rubber thing on the floor over there? Why do oh, 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 oh shit? All these things. Whose clothes are those? <laughs> oh no! Sweet, That's a balloon animal. We had it was rabid. We had to put it down. <laughs> <laughs> wow. And. I wear combat boots. And she's like, I'm mean, whose boots are those? Do you wear boots? Did you get new boots today? And I'm like, oh. So the third degree was Sitting going there. on, yeah. I'm pressed against this wall, praying to pop. Oh, praying to you, pop. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Please let me make it out of this without. I mean, to explain myself mm-hmm. to anybody about this. Yep. And so I slowly shimmy along the wall to the open window. Ooh. Okay. I gather up. I close and stuff like that. And I say, wait until Pop and Blake hear about my dumb ass <laughs> again. <laughs> And I dive out the second story window into a bush. Uh huh. I roll. Your second one that night. (laughs) And. Yeah, don't ever go back. Stuff did pop one years ago. Mm -hmm. I run off into the darkness, never to be seen again. (laughs) Wise choice. Go back to that house again. Wise choice. Very wise choice. I have deleted her number. Everything. It's it's done. Oh, good. I'm not doing this no more. <laughs> I got you. I got you, bro. I got you. Yeah, you don't need to be doing this no more, man. You, you've got enough stories, and I yes, think, for... And yes, I do have the condom in my pocket right now. <laughs> <laughs> do All right. It. Well, at least <laughs> you boy. took it with you. Yeah. No, no, yeah. I left no evidence. None. She's a single mother for a reason. Yes. Leave her that way. That, that's absolutely correct. They're for the streets, man. They're for the streets. I got gotcha. you. Oh, wow. So we've got our first live Wango Tango story. I like it. We like having you yeah. on, man. We're going to cover a few subjects with you tonight uh, before we bid thee fare thee well. You said you're feeling a little bit under the weather, so we don't want to keep you on for, yeah. for too long. I got gotcha, you, bro. Uh, the big news today, at least in the uh, conservative sphere... Is that uh, Dan uh, sounds like a uh, Mary Jane, do you want a smoking device, Bongino, has been permanently banned from the stunning and brave platform that 716 of you are currently watching this on. Correct. And they suspended him, of course, for medical misinformation, even though he's stating things that are factually correct. He's talking about, he was, I I believe I was watched part of this. And uh, he was talking about stuff that's already been released on on the mainstream media. Yes. Uh, it was about uh, face diapers, mm-hmm. and despite the fact that the CDC has updated their own guidance on the efficacy of them, they gave them a strike anyway, and instead of kowtowing to try to get them to take the strike away, he sends them this email. Oh, yeah. It's beautiful. Ooh. Dear Read Coco, it. nice to meet you. I was sent your email about YouTube suspension of my channel. I said I was surprised. If I said I was surprised here, I'd be lying. We knew it was just a matter of time before the tyrannical, free speech hating, bullshit, big tech shithole you work for would try to silence us. I anxiously waited for this moment, however, as I've said on my show many times. Thankfully, I'm one of the investors in Rumble, a video platform that respects free speech. 
As a matter of fact, I have more than double the number of followers there than on your shit platform. So here's my deal to you, and there will be no negotiation. After your suspension, I will immediately post content questioning why face diapers have been ineffective in stopping this pandemic. I dare you to do something about it. Respectfully, kiss my ass, Dan Bunk. Damn! <laughs> yeah! Comedy gold. Comedy, Comedy gold. gold. Oh, Love yeah. It. Holy a smoking Joe Fraser. Amen. I have a funny story from a few years back. Mm. Well, a few years back, or last year or whatever, my boss I tried to get me to take the poke, and she was threatening to fire me. What? And then blackballed me from ever working again. Yeah, yeah. And I said, well, okay. I'll tell you like this. You can fire me. But I promise you this. I will turn your little life to a redneck nightmare. <laughs> okay? <laughs> you are 63 years old. You are nothing. Nice. Well, your yeah. life is in this little, little job. Mm. So you see, ma'am... So you are suffering from what I call the total rage. Mm. Box Basically what like. that is, <laughs> when a woman hasn't gotten any for a long time. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I know what that is. She becomes cranky and, and bitter. So this is my solution to you. Oh, boy. I advise you to go out and get you some new batteries oh. and hell out my face. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I'm not taking that. I yeah. like it. Usually that rage comes after a prolonged trip in. Stop. Don't touch me there. This is my no no swear. Stop. <laughs> Every time. Every time. And I think there might actually be one for men now after what happened with Neil Young, of all people. This is uh Rather pathetic, actually, and it's kind of piggybacking right on the Dan Bongino story here. Mm. Spotify says that it will grant Young's request to remove his music. Why? Because they wouldn't cancel the $100 million contract that they have with Joe Rogan. You know that you are super duper woke when you cancel yourself. Well, like we said earlier, this, what happened here, we're going to start seeing this happen more and more. Uh, because this is this cancel culture thing is ludicrous. It's been listen, Hollywood's losing money. the The entertainment industry is losing money over this horse shit. It's going to blow up in their face, in not a good way. No, definitely not. Mm. Yep. Now this is my question. Okay. Sure. Why does Neil Young even care about Joe Rogan? They're in completely different fields i don't know and neil and young should really be there? named neil old it, now well That's neil it. young was like a big thing in the late 60s through the 70s and he was all about rebelling and against the government and yeah. now he's kowtowing to the government he, he's part of the system now what an uber hypocrite <laughs> i've lived around people i've lived around people like that my entire life People yep. saying, oh, fight the power. You know, they messing with the black community, blah, blah, blah. What? Yep. Oh, hang on, that hang on. same. But, oh, I got to change it up. Out with the old, in with the day. Oh, yeah. Side boob. <laughs> ah, yes, indeed. <laughs> Side boob. But. <laughs> yeah. Whatever that same, even which white man, supposedly, <laughs> your black ass to put, put your sleeve, you do it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and here's another oh, thing. Interesting. All right, so I did 33 years in the military system, right? And I've had like these uber liberals that used to be associates and friends of mine sit there and go, you've been brainwashed and conditioned. And I'm like, well, 33 years in the army and I'm still saying no and I question all of the stupid shit and you haven't done one fucking day and you're sucking the corporate cock. cock. Just saying. They didn't like it. I didn't care. Yeah. <laughs> uh, 
Oh my Lanta. Yeah, the the hits just keep on coming, or rather the shits just keep on coming. Ooh. I mean, just in the last two days. Holy smoke and Joe Frazier. And that brings us to our favorite cuck commander in chief. Oh, here we go. <laughs> Blue screen Biden. <laughs> I'm gonna uh, listen. I used to hate it when I used to get that error message because that oh. meant your high drive, your hard drive is gone. Well, everyone yep. has at least contemplated throwing a computer out the window after seeing that. Yes, this is your hard layers. drive or your motherboard. motherboard Bad device yeah. driver issue. Yeah, could be. Ugh. All right, next. That's the next story. While illegal immigration sets records, Biden's team says Ukraine matters because borders should be inviolate. So basically, you should, you know, that there should be and sovereignty. Yeah, it should be that sovereignty should be respected. Uh huh. Is that like one of his words? Uh, it, it came from his deputy or White House deputy national security advisor, Jonathan. Because I don't Spider. even know what that word is. I'm like, what the fuck is that? I just want to know who's going to tell him. Uh, who's going to tell them that we've got almost 2 million? 1.7. 1.7 million. It's not almost 2 million. Yeah, yeah, I guess. 1.7 1. million illegal immigrants in this country that, a bit, that are literally being shuttled around, flown into cities in the dead of night, and yep. being given prepaid visa cards that are stacked with taxpayer dollars, adding to the already hugely problematic inflation. Yeah, but we got veterans out, out in the cold, freezing to death. Yep. Yeah, but fuck them, right? I mean, they yeah. only put their lives on the line for their country, well, right? They're, they're, yeah, they're throwing them out of the military now. I mean, it, it would be it would be nice if the people who put their lives on their line for their country Got were treated respect. were treated the same as people who forced their way in by you know jumping fences, swimming, and digging tunnels, digging yeah. tunnels. Yeah. yeah. Are you talking about they should be just given basic respect? Basic respect would be fine by me. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, nice. one of the main like one of the main reasons. I use the healthcare system outside of the VA for about 80% of what I need. Is because if you go to the VA, they'll put you on a list, and you will literally wait four to six months. Yeah. I can't do that. Ugh. By then, you will be dead. Well, yep. Or whatever you had going on is resolved. Mm -hmm. yeah. And another thing, too. We still have, I don't know how many thousands of Americans trapped in Afghanistan. But uh, we're not deploying people to go and get them. Nope. Nope. I mean, the Pineapple Express had to take it into their own hands. Yeah, those are some of my former associates that are, are doing that. And I got an invite to go, and I, I told them, like, I'm too old and broke, and I can't do it. I mean, is this just the most shit administration we've ever seen? Uh, in my is, lifetime, yes. Is it just me? <laughs> uh, yeah. I mean, there's only one thing positive that you can say about this guy. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. By his <laughs> wife. <laughs> And look, he's a, even in this fucking article, he's got his ice cream. <laughs> Good for him. Yeah, just Google Alzheimer's patients and ice cream and just put draw the lines, put two and two together. It's good times. <laughs> yep. Wah, wah, wah. Oh, and our, our last article of the night for, for Reaper while he's joining us here. And, and this one is all right. this, this this one is so close, I have to use the graphic just for you. All right. Dad, I'm scared. Now, all I right. said this to Reaper before the stream, and I mentioned to him that's like, well, we'll have you on until roughly this point. And, and I explained to him the gist of the article in like a sentence. He's like, I'm sorry, what? <laughs> I beg <laughs> your pardon? Beg so, your pardon? There's a, there's a medical name for this. It's Allegedly. called hermaphrodite. Uh Sort of. Okay, it, both of the... Because both no, the, the hermaphrodite would mean that it's joining at a chromosomal level. That's not what's happening here. Well, actually, it's if you have both of the organs displaying at the same time. He did it. One was hidden. It's hidden. Yes. A man, 67 years old, finds out that he has half a vagina after going to the doctor to treat a hernia. So he's a, he's a him, she, shimp. He went complaining of a lump on his leg... And was told that he had a hernia, and to find out that he has uh, got a little pussy down there. <laughs> Dude. 
my God. God. I, I you know it, it's listen, it's not the guy's fault. It's just how he came out of the factory. <laughs> there was obviously a defect before he decided to write this ride the snot rocket down here. He didn't kick the tires and light the fires and do yeah. his inspection. That's just the way it is. It happens. It sucks. But, you know, it, it, so, I would be totally. Question, boys. Sure. I'd be shocked. Is he, is he signing off? What do you say to the doctor after he tells you that? Like, uh, Do you want me to punch you in the you face? I don't know. I'm sure that there are some, <laughs> some wacky wango tango people out there be like, can I keep it? <laughs> Because then I can and finally the do. Next question. So I can finally do what my ex-wife told me to do, and that is go fuck myself. <laughs> uh, hold, so the, they they had him opened up for surgery, and they found this. Yes, uh, he was he had a partially formed vagine after originally being told it was a hernia. He's from Kosovo, uh, born with only one distended uh, testicle. After, had gone to the doctor to complain about the growth after it first began to develop around a decade earlier. Uh, he came into the hospital for an operation. Surgeons were stunned to, to discover a uterus, cervix, fallopian tube, and ovary. So that that's a hermaphrodite, man. He had uh, all the equipment. It just wasn't expressing. Uh, it's, it's possible. It's a, it could be, you know, chrom- I don't know if they didn't mention anything about chromosomal anomalies here because that's kind of where no, I just I hope from. they cut that shit out. Well, because sometimes what happens is somebody develops as a, a, a one of a set of fraternal twins. Yeah. And then usually what happens is one fetus absorbs, the absorbs other. most of the nutrients, the other one dies, and then it gets reabsorbed. But sometimes that process happens far enough along, or some of it keeps developing once it's been absorbed, and you mm-hmm. can get things like this. Ah. So not technically hermaphrodite because there's no chromosomal level differences, but you can wind up with waz- wazoo body parts and shit. Was this is my question. <laughs> What's your question? You better check his ass for the head. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying because if they found it in his back, that means it must have developed backwards. So they might, might... Oh, maybe, maybe his ass was know. pulling for the head or something like that for an eyeball or something. Like I see you. Yeah, but the, <laughs> the thing that's got me questioning here is the lump was there a decade prior, and he didn't do anything about it. Yeah, yeah, you know, men just kind of do that sometimes. Does it hurt? Yeah, I'm not going to go. To well, I, yeah, uh, you're right. You're right. Because I had the tumor cut off my back. Yeah. I basically waited around for like four years before <laughs> it was getting really bad. Uh, there's actually a name for this. It's called PMDS, Persistent Malarian Duct Syndrome. It's an exceptionally rare condition in men that sees female sexual organs develop to near completion internally alongside normal external male ones. It's only been recorded 200 times in medical history. Wow. So. I got a feeling with the amount of soy going around. Oh, we're going to see more of this. Yeah, I had a friend in high school. Go up pretty damn fast. <laughs> yeah, I, I had a friend of mine in high school, and he dated this girl for like two years in high school, right? And then uh, about a year and a half after he graduated, you know, they, they quit seeing each other. And he like pulls me aside and he goes, man, you know, I, Jen called me and she said she's got like, you know, she, her uter- she doesn't have a uterus. Uh, she's got like one fallopian tube and there's some questionable stuff in there. I'm like, so you're banging a, you're, you're gay. He's like, no, I'm not. I'm like, if she's part man, it's a crying game situation. You're gay. He got so <laughs> fucking mad. I swear he wanted to punch me. I'm like, dude, I'm just fucking with you, man. Come on. <laughs> Roll with the punch. His face man. or gut face or gut. Give it time. He was so mad. <laughs> but, you know, that's that's the grunt in me. you got to laugh at crazy shit like that or you go fucking nuts. That's very true. Uh, speaking of crazy shit, we're going to keep uh, Reaper on the line while we read some super chats here. Here we go. Oh, it's always a good times. Going to start out with Streamlabs first. Uh, down to side 13. Raise a glass to the Riga Parade. What is up, Reaper and Wild Man? Cheers to the red pill, bringing men together across generations. No homo. Nof. Drinking straw. Damn you. Damn it. Jimmy Bones, wish YouTube would allow you to play it, but Kid Rock's new song, We the People, is one to add to your Patriot playlist. I might make that six and a half hour drive to Omaha to see him in concert this year just for that song alone. Also, much love to you, Reaper. No homo. Outstanding. Oh, <laughs> of course, of course. Good times. Good times. Ah. I'm jumping over to YouTube here. Triggers McNickers. Here's a bit of trivia. Dingle derives from an ancient Gaelic word meaning forested valley. No better metaphor describing a hairy man crack. 
That's where dingleberries I do come not from. Need that image. <laughs> well, they, they actually they repurpose a lot of words to do it. I mean, it's not yeah. Ah, jail. Uh, Jeffrey Paul, our composer. I have two tendons from organ sonars in my knees. I run a lot slower, so I know they weren't rigor tendons. <laughs> all right, all right, nice. Uh, Patriot of the West, OB gentlemen, with uh, Russia rattling the saber at China with their training exercises, and India kissing Western and Russian butt. Why not let them have blue water ports play the long game pawn for a night? Uh, that's a good question. Uh, there's a lot of things that play in that theater, uh, and I seriously doubt uh, Putin's going to pull the trigger because NATO and the United States are moving a bunch of shit in that country. And I'm going to be honest, Russia is not the Russia that we used to know. He said, I'm going to be honest, you got to take a drink. Okay. Uh, I'm just saying, it's not the same <laughs> Russia. It's not the USSR. They don't have the GDP for a long, protracted fucking fight. Yeah. It's just not going to happen. Oh, just so you guys know, whenever Pop says, I'm going to be honest, you got to take a drink, uh, do yourself a favor, no hard liquor for that one. You just have a beer. Because I say it all the time. Coffee, you know, whatever you guys prefer. I'm not a good liar, man. I'm just I'm just giving you my opinion. Oh, I know. Yeah, it's just the way it is. There was actually a guy once who got, who was, for some reason, just doesn't like me. And that's fine. I don't care. But he was complaining. He's like, if I have to listen to Blake say, I'm just asking for a friend one more time. He says it so often. And I was like, dude. I got a drinking game for you. Every time Pop says, I'm going to be honest, you take a shot. <laughs> if you're dead. still alive, you can complain at me again tomorrow. <laughs> You'll be dead. <laughs> but, this, but look at this way. All right. I mastered my craft, which is war. Okay? Infantry, airborne, ranger, green beret. I mean, literally, I have studied war for most of my adult life. I understand it forward and backwards. I understand the economy, the politics, the psyops, the whole deal. And when I dissect it, and when you break it down to the Nats ass, I mean, Russia can maybe keep everything going for two months. Yeah. If That's that. about it. And if you uh, did what I've been suggesting, what, what actually a few independent voices online have been suggesting, and you just remove you know, weapon sanctions and turn Ukraine into a martial country where you've got the gun behind every blade of grass theory, uh, it shortens that up even more. <laughs> well, yeah. Because... But the time to do that would have been when Obama was in office. So, Well, here, here's the thing. If you think war is terrible, you just wait until you have a huge insurrection, you know, guerrilla war thing going on. Bro. Are we allowed to say that on here anymore unless we're talking bad about Orange Man? I'm just saying. <laughs> I mean, th th that's what would happen. Yeah. All right, we just crossed 900 viewers on Thank YouTube. You. Thank you all very much for tuning in with us tonight, saying hi to us and to Reaper. Smash that like button, everybody, because, you know, we're riding at less than 50%. Come on, Only get with the program. Smash Jesus it. Christ. Smash it like I trained you to. Yeah, s smash it like a single mom, but no loads for you. Come back one year. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> Keep that condom in your pocket. In fact, you know. If you live with somebody, could put, just put a condom in your pocket anyway. You know, to let her discover it while she's doing the laundry. What the fuck is this? There you go. Yeah, it's, well, it's all all the fun and half the calories because you're running away with you know yep. your life in somebody else's hands. Cut her nails and bats. Yeah, that's exactly right. Yep. K to the Swiss. Oh Christ! Then you got these two time winners of Sizzle Man slap tearing shy it up triathlon. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Bastard. Uh, thank you very much, though. Keith Peterson. What's hood, my riggas? <laughs> All right. Yeah, I, I don't know. I, I'm not. Uh, I'm not from the hood. I, I live in a neighborhood, but uh, never, never been from the hood. Mm. Uh, Tim Taylor. It's with not a, a happy place. It's not a happy place. It's really not. It's really not. A fifty dollars super chat. Thank you. We're not worthy. We're not worthy. Truckers, I'm sorry, riggers are starting to realize their power and uniting. With the supply chain crumbling, if this keeps up, they will bring the government to their knees. Godspeed, brothers. You are changing the world, and we support you. Squeeze these tools hard. All right. Awesome. Amen to that. Yes. Because, you know, when you already have a supply crisis, 
and then you go and piss off one of the most necessary and diverse. We're talking people from every race, color, creed, gender, and demographic. Driving trucks. Driving trucks. Mm -hmm. What did you think was going to happen? You, you want to, you know, I know a couple women who got divorced, and that's all they could do to, to like, pay the bills and shit. It, it pays pretty well. Yeah. Because yeah. you got to be willing to, you know... <laughs> be alone and usually women don't like taking those type of jobs well i mean they, she told me how much she was making now this is like eight or ten years ago it, yeah it, it was it was a decent amount yeah you can live off of that all right keith peterson again the cause of and the answer to all great man's problems answer but oh wait wait out with the old in with the new uh -huh. oh, there we go yeah. pretty sure she's latin pop i'll give her your phone number uh -huh. yeah Expensive. Too expensive. Yeah, I know. In Fantasy I Die, I watch you guys now instead of Tim Pool. I respect what he does, but he interrupts guests all the time to make the same point he's already done. Cheers. Well, Pop has that problem, but his is just a, if I don't get it out right now, it's, it's, it's going to leak out the other side. That's right. I, I do that. I'm sorry. Oh. Hey, it's not know, intentional. You've been blown up twice. You have a valid excuse. Uh, yeah. Dawn Creep. Yo, Pop, you ever tried Old Smoky Peanut Butter Whiskey or Bumboo Rum? It's, Bum it's okay. Bumboo has been mentioned at least once on here. I haven't had Bumbo, but I've had the Peanut Butter Whiskey. It's all right. I got some of the Bird Dog in the fridge. I, I like the old salty, you know, the caramel stuff. Yeah. You can mix the chocolate and the peanut butter flavor together and okay. have like a Reese's Peanut Butter shot. It's quite delicious. No, no. This is like will fuck your stomach up. Drinking a caramel sundae. Oh, you bastard. <laughs> and when you get done, you'll die. You mix that up with some Kahlua, mm. a little hint of vanilla coffee creamer, and then, you know, let it go. Flesh out the rest of it as you go. It, it is. It's like drinking an ice cream sundae. It's uh, fantastic. Uh, fantastic. We accept our homo suspicion points for foo foo drinks. You got nothing on us. Yeah. All right. Damon Wolf MGTOW. It Dan Ice Cream. Straw, please. <laughs> oh, uh, here's another thing. Is my mom just called me. She's got the coof. Oh. Oh, no. Yeah, she's 75 now. So she's in the, the high risk category for yeah, that. Yeah, and I, I told her, listen, Ma, let me know. I'll be right there with all the meds. You'll be all right. Oh, yeah. That is actually something that I got uh, Epic Times sent their newsletter this morning. There are doctors out there just flat out saying, like, yeah, you know, we got a lot of people who are just sneaking certain. Uh, Things. Or horse medications into hospitals for their loved ones, and I say, brah, fucking. I've hell. already done. I've already done that. I know you have. Because I'm a really fucking important. evil genius. That's why Darren's still here. You circumvent the system. Yes. Right, hang on. A, all right. So, what you're telling me is I can't do this because I'm blocked by idiotness. <laughs> mm. well, I think I can outsmart an idiot. When you do that, we need to get you like a little. Little Willy Wonka costume, so you can make that face. You know, so what you're saying is <laughs> <laughs> that would be great. Oh shit, that'd be hilarious. Uh, it's like a toss up between Willy Wonka and Space Ghost for Halloween, I think. Or or or, I could you know a GI Joe uniform or something. That could work too. You wouldn't even have to buy or, that. You already got one at home. I, I got boxes of shit in my house. <laughs> That's what it's all about. And Keith Peterson wants another bud out with the old, in with the new. Ooh. She's a little too skinny. Yeah, a little too skinny, uh, but the her, booty. Her, nice. her midsection's it's been airbrushed or something. Uh, I don't see the telltale signs, but it is very possible. She looks like a wasp with yeah, a big yeah. booty. <laughs> Just saying. <laughs> it's all good, man. Jumping over to MGTOW.TV, which is working tonight, at least the last I checked. Growing got, pains. Growing, growing pains. pains, yep. Crimson Hawk. <laughs> I'm gonna have to sing this, aren't I? Old man, look at my cock. It's a lot like yours was. <laughs> no, that's the guy who got his his music uh, kicked off of us. Yes, yeah. that's that's the uh, the impetus for that one. Mm -hmm. Not to be confused with impotence, which I'm sure is also another problem with Neil Old, which pisses him off and wow. makes him all surly and hate Joe Rogan. Mm. Uh, fuck for life on Odyssey. Too bad I had to work when truck convoy came through my hometown of Brandon, Manitoba. Oh, no, wow. <laughs> I have two flags. First says fuck Trudeau, and the second says let's go Brandon. Just goes to that right together. Yeah, it's, just, it's, like, it's like s'mores. Yeah. Marshmallows and chocolate on it. Yeah, it totally mixes. Oh, it totally. 
Owl Dude, the U.S. enshrined self-determination over territorial integrity with the Kosovo president in 1999 with 78 days of bombing Serbia. Time to pay the price for that. Well, I, I know guys that were there for that, and um, it was ugly. Very ugly. Like, the NATO, NATO was there, and they didn't do jack shit. Like, one of my buddies is, like, literally the only thing they could do is, like, drop bombs once in a while, shoot artillery, but people were getting, like, genocided and all kinds of crazy shit. And by the time they got the OPK to roll out the gate to stop it, it was already done. Shocker. Well, like you said in uh, Rules of a Gunfight, you know, how gunfights are portrayed in Hollywood is nothing like what they are oh, in real life. No. They're always over like that. Well, t- if if it lasts more than 30 seconds and you're still alive, you either, won. E- no, either, well, there, yes, you won, you got incredibly lucky, <laughs> or you got them first. <laughs> I mean, that's just the way it rolls. Yeah, I would say one of the more realistic Hollywood gunfights I've seen was in in Glorious Bastards. You know, yeah. when they have the, the when it just blows up and it's over in less than ten seconds. Well, in Panama, I was doing security for uh, Kazavac, and it was me and a couple of the Rangers. And literally, we we come across this road, and we have to cross the road to get to where we need in, to the motor pool where this guy was wounded. And the first two guys run across. And you see tracers. <laughs> then it's my turn, and this other guy. I'm like, I guess we're going. <laughs> we sprint across the road, that. and literally, I I cross the road, and within a second, there was tracer fire Boom. going right down the road. If I'd have hesitated, I'd have, I'd have been. I, it would have been a wrap. Yeah, I wouldn't have survived. In fantasy, I die. Says ah, that famous Russian scientist Imor Vectin. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yep. We got to write that down. I'm more uh, I like it. Russian. All Sunday. right. I want to give a special thanks to Reaper Zero One for joining us tonight, man. Thank you for that story, and keep them coming, man. I'm sure you got even more that uh, you're still too embarrassed to tell. Don't become a gimp. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, yes. That, that's an order, not a, not a suggestion. <laughs> yes, sir. Yeah, we don't want you to become the uh, we don't want you to become the black rigs from wherever you're from. That'd be that would be bad. Last all year the night. <laughs> all right, man. Thank you for joining Last us. All year the night. Enjoy uh, the rest of the the stream, and we will be in touch. All right. Take it easy, wild man. All right. Get some sleep. Take your vitamin C and hydrate. Yes. Sir, it's on pop. Roger that. Over and <sighs> out. That's a Texas size ten four. Yep. <laughs> oh, what a. What a day! <laughs> I, I'm serious. We uh, there's so many, so much craziness going. On, we can't even keep up. No, no, we really can't. You know, and and this is supposed to be Thought Thursday where we talk about red pill and MGTOW stuff. And, oh, and we still are. So, but there's so much shit going on. You, it has to bleed in. You can't ignore it for a while. I know, and we may not even be able to get to all of these subjects. I don't know, but they're here, mm-hmm. and there will be a new text oh. portion later, and it is. We're going to be diving into some history on New Tech later. So if you guys have not yet subscribed to a New Tech channel, always at the end of the stream, I post links to the exact stream address in the chat before we leave YouTube. But if you haven't created an account on one of these websites, dude, you are fucking up by the numbers. You are, man. You're missing out. Sign up for one, sign up for two. Doesn't matter to me. Just don't be a Jew. I gotcha. (laughs) I don't know. I was trying to make a rhyme. It worked. Yeah, it's all right. It happens. Yeah, it's all right. I, I used to get yelled at because uh, we stopped at a red light for a long time. And I'd be like, these damn Jew lights are cute. <laughs> and my kid's like, Dad, don't, don't say that. I'm like, well, you know, don't, don't be offended, but it's taken forever. I'm just ready to turn right to turn left. Fuck it. Ooh. And it's time for this week in Whammon. Here we go. So if you've been hurt and it hurts real bad, I can hate if that you song. have feelings that are making you sad, then it's okay, it's okay to cry. Funny story. In that picture, she's eating ice cream? Yep. Okay. You know I have a hard time sleeping, right? Yes. This is the first time this has ever happened. It was like four or five weeks back. I take my Ambien... I lay down. I wake up in the morning. I think everything is cool. Totally. And then I'm a couple of days later, I'm cleaning up, and I look underneath my rack, and there's an empty half gallon 
of Briar's chocolate chip mint ice cream. <laughs> so I took the Ambien. I went to bed. <laughs> I got up. I walked to 7-Eleven, bought a half a gallon of ice cream, came back, ate it all, and hid the wrapping and the dunnage from myself. <laughs> How the fuck does that happen? <laughs> I mean that. I mean, I had. I mean, I had to have a conference with good pop, bad pop, and evil pop. I mean, pop. That, that's a whole lot of sleep tasks right there. You got sleep walking, sleep eating, and, and then sleep shaming because, like, your your sleep eating self was so ashamed of all the calories. It just, just, I'm just gonna hide just down here. <laughs> that's exactly what I did because I found it. I'm like, what the fuck is this? And then I'm like. Oh shit, evil oh, pop. Shit. Evil pop got out of the box. Fuck. Fuck. And like I have a buddy of mine when I'm like freaking out, I'll call him and leave a voicemail. I'm like I'm like, hey Twix man. Evil Pop is out of the box and he's drinking at the bar. Help, help. And he calls me hey man. He always talks me down. It's hilarious. <laughs> oh, there's no putting this back in the box though, man. Okay, first of all, uh Jane Fonda has cursed the entire Fonda family. Amen. I can't stand them. The wall has come for Bridget Fonda. Oh, hang on. To the fans out there, we are planning on doing a show called The Wall Defeats Them All. And we would appreciate if you guys could find some examples, yeah. send them to us. Well, no, I want legit examples. Yes. I, I want you to show us examples from your own life, maybe even people you've dated or divorced, where the wall came for them and fell on them, just like Bridget Fonda. Yeah, but I don't know if we can show their pictures on the show. We might get in trouble. We can on New Tech. Well, we get sued. Not on New Tech. I could still sue you. <laughs> yeah, it's not going to happen. Ah, that's, <laughs> that's what you say, huh? Yeah, we'll figure it out. Well, the thing is, if these are publicly available photos from places like social Facebook, media, yeah. there they're, they're publicly available. Can't do anything about it. Oh, Bridget Fonda used to be so hot. Are you ready for this? Oh, my God. This is looking terrible. I made sure that Pop did not get to see this. I can see the top of her head, and this looks ugly. Oh, my God! Oh! Oh, my God! She's trying to... Oh, she's trying to re replicate by mitosis. Now, what's even worse is that the oh. picture on the right wasn't that long ago. This was the last time she was seen in public. It was the premiere of Inglorious Bastards. This was 2009. This damage was wreaked in, <laughs> in fucking A decade. less than 13 years. Oh, my God. It blows my mind. And I had no idea that she was married to Danny Elfman, the freaking composer. Is she, is she still married to him? Yes. God bless him. Yeah. No oh wonder he works so much. My I God. mean, just look at what she... This was in Jackie Brown in 1997. <sighs> Holy wow. smoking Joe Frazier. Yep. Wow. Yeah. Wow. The, the, the wall... God damn it, that's terrible. ...defeats them all, What is she man. carrying? A bong? I don't know. That's what it looks like. It would explain the munchies. Oh, God. Oh, it's, uh, yeah. yeah she's got the dog thing. Well, and, and, oh, and the purse has a jar of peanut butter in it, I'm sure. I'm sure. Oh, my and then, God. <laughs> oh, Look at that oh, arm. Oh, the arm. Look at that arm. Oh. That's a yankle right there. Oh Ooh. my God! Uh, we're gonna get we're gonna get hanged for hate speech over this one, but holy wow! It's true. Listen, Ooh. this is this is the reality on the ground. Yeah. This listen. All you had to do was look good. I'm just saying. Look, these ladies out there who are getting divorced in their late thirties and think they're gonna find Mister, you know, you know, Mister Money Bags, and it's gonna be glorious. This is what's waiting for you. Yep. Oh, it's bad news, Bears. We just had a little bit of a data shift right there. Okay. Um, just making sure you all are aware. So if things are start to you know buffer a little bit, just hit reload on it. It seems to be back up. So I want to make sure that we're we're tackling these problems as they arrive. So. Damn. All right. Wow. Problem fixed. Oh my god, that was oh. horrible. I know. I feel bad too. I do. I feel bad as well. So many dudes in the nineties. You know, yanked the crank on their personal spank box, if you know what I mean, to Bridget Fonda. And, uh, wow, God yeah. bless her husband for staying married to that. <laughs> I mean, he's, you know, he, I just, all I got to say, he's got to love her. Huh? Uh, I'm just saying. 
Or maybe he loves what who she used to be. Who knows? I, I, I don't know. It is what it is. Wow. And then you have winners, perhaps even chicken dinners, like this person. Connecticut mom, mother of the year, left two kids home alone while she vacationed in Florida with her boyfriend. Now, how old are these kids? Both under the age of 12. Exactly how old are they, though? Does it, it does say? not say. Okay. Or at least not in the uh, the opening portions of this article that I'm currently looking at here. Connecticut mother left her two, two kids home alone for two days and nights while she vacationed in Florida with her boyfriend in November has been arrested. Carrie Lynn Kaviaska, a Watertown resident and teacher with the Waterbury Public Schools, allegedly left her kids, who are both under the age of 12, home alone. The children survived on candy, snacks, and Uber Eats deliveries, what? according to court documents. Is this water, is that in New York State? No, Connecticut. Oh, okay, Connecticut, okay. <laughs> wow that's fucked up Mother but you know what this happens the all the time yep it happens all the time yeah he went through uh what do we got here told the police uh, his or her ex-husband shocker uh went to the police department to report that his wife who has primary custody of the kids may have left the kids home alone he told the police that the students missed school on monday november 22nd and that he had been unable to contact him over the weekend he told police that he sent his father to the house to check on them, but he wasn't able to reach the kids. When he later asked the children whether they had been left home alone, they told him no, but he didn't believe them. He went through the messages on a cell phone he had provided one of the kids, which revealed several texts between the children and Cal- Kaviaska from the weekend. Well, the he's going to get custody now. The text messages showed one of the children asking his or her her mother what they were supposed to eat for dinner that night. Just eat candy. Whatever's downstairs. There's so much downstairs. I'll make it up to you. Wow. Mm. Mother of the year. Well, at least she didn't kill him. Uh, well, if she was willing to do this and if she had gotten away with it. It only Probably worse. would have been the next one on the list. Uh, because, well, just say a two-day vacation. Oh, they did just fine after a two-day vacation. Yeah. Why not a week-long vacation? Yeah, you're right. You're right. Yeah, I mean, that's... that's. But, you know, I'm going to tell you right now, this has got national news. Yep. That, that father's getting custody of those kids. He better. She's if not, screwed. it'll be a tremendous miscarriage of justice. It'll be a fucking huge lawsuit. But... <laughs> But we all know what the justice system in this country is like in regards to women. Oh, yeah. They will get one-third the time for the same crime as a man. It's and start- even when they are caught red-handed doing shit like this. They might get a pass. Slap on the wrist. That's absolutely correct. That she, needs to stop. If she even sees a day in jail, she'll probably get time served if she's convicted. Well, she, I mean, they're not going to probably. Nobody got hurt, so chances are she's not going to jail. Well, I mean, look at her. She is not... You know, melanin challenged. You know, she is definitely looks of Asian persuasion. So they're going to look at her as a protected minority on top of being a woman. Mm. And they don't want to be called the wastists or a white supreme pizza for, you know, I'm, actually applying equality where it's supposed to be. Absolutely correct. <laughs> I'm just glad the kids are okay. Yeah, ditto. I mean, I mean, that's just, uh, to be honest with you. It's very common, especially in my generation. It happened all the time. Yep. Uh, there was lots of times I had buddies come over to my house. Their mother was, they're home alone, and I'm like, "Yeah, come on, have dinner at my place." Yeah. The kid in uh, in Oxford who shot up his school routinely left home alone all the time. Yep. Sometimes for days. Days. His neighbors called CPS on him numerous times. Kept giving the kid back. Mm. And then they knew that he. Uh, yeah, th- th- in fact, they bought the weapon for him. So and they're they're going to get times. hammered. They're getting hammered for that. I mean, they might have had a chance of pleading ignorance until they tried to flee from the police and hide out in a, in a guy's art studio in Novi. And they kind of sowed their own oats at that yes. point. Yes, they did. <laughs> Just like this woman. And this one is... I, I'm at a loss. I thought this was fake. When I saw it posted somewhere, so I went and I looked it up. You can't make this up. No. Domestic violence survivor who fled two abusive partners only to marry a man who murdered his wife defends her choice because he had 20 years in prison to think about how to treat women better. Wow. In other words, oh, he different. He loves me. 
Wow. Wow. That is some stupid shit right there. Yeah, this is going to wind up like the the Russian dude who uh, you know, who made the pedophile dig his own grave. I have a feeling something similar is in her future. Well, I don't first of all, I don't blame the guy for doing that. No, I don't blame no, him I don't for doing blame that either. either. Uh, now, now there's a new case in Texas. There's uh two two brothers and one of their friends beat their stepfather to death. Yes, I heard. Because th- it was he was diddling. He was diddling their their younger nine year old sister. Yep. Hey, hey, are chomos are chomos or chomos? You know, you get what you get. Yeah, you you never promo a chomo. No, you uh, that's how you deal with that situation. You just saying. basically push an air conditioner around them from the yeah. third story. Stephanie Garcia from Santa Rosa, Texas, has escaped. Two abusive relationships when she fell for convicted <laughs> murderer Gerardo Castaneda in 2007. He served 20 years for killing his ex-wife, but believes in she believes in second chances, and she married him in just seven months. Oh, God. Wow. This is going to be a train wreck in reverse clusterfuck. I mean, it's, I, I just, wow. A year later... Castaneda ended their marriage, leaving her feeling manipulated. Because he did. <laughs> Mother of two. Shocker. Oh who God. works as a parole case manager. What? In- well, first of all. That's literally, that shit where you eat right there. The father of those <laughs> kids should go, should have went absolutely fucking berserk. Yeah. I love how this is the last thing in the bullet points. For advice and support on domestic violence, visit womensaid.org.uk. <laughs> wow. Uh, how, do you, I, how do you protect somebody from their own idiocy? I, I know, this woman's beyond help. If it's this insane. was her idea of you know, embracing her future as a strong, independent whammon after getting you know, treated like a punching bag for however many years. Mm-hmm. Fail. Fail. <laughs> oh, but plenty of this. Yeah, I'm sure she has a lot of that going on. Fail. Uh, wow. I wonder if she, uh, you know, wanders into the group showers once in a while just to drop the soap. Probably. I never know. Well, but this is what happens when you get a little bit far past the wall to the point where you just got to take what you can get. She's 49. Yeah. Um, Not really going to work out for her right there. She's become desensitized to abusive behavior and didn't initially see his past as a reason not to date him, saying that he showed remorse for his crime. They always do. That's and what luckily, mani- that's what manipulators do. Yeah, and luckily he removed himself from the situation before she could wind up in a body bag. Wow. Oh. Wow. Just- that's a bummer, man. Oh, but they want a nice guy. They want, they want somebody who's going to take him to dinner and wine him, dine him, and 69 him. Listen. Not 68 him. That's where, you know, she goes down on you and you owe her one. Yes. <laughs> 68. <laughs> Just uh. say it. Just say it. <laughs> um, yeah, whatever happens to this woman, I'm just going to say it. Uh, short of, uh, you know, dismemberment and death, she's, she's got it coming. Because uh, this is, well, she, I mean, pattern of behavior. This is desperation, and I'll, I know lots of women who've been divorced a couple times, and they they're just chomping at the bit because they know it's coming. Yeah, that forty to eighty is a long fucking time. And every time you tell them that, they get so upset. Uh, but it's the truth. <laughs> I know it's the absolute truth. So Lilia, like this one woman, it was a couple years ago. I went out with her like twice, and she was. 40-ish, been divorced. Divorced. Yeah. So, you know, at the second time I went out with her, we're just hanging at the bar. And she's like running on about this fucking ex-boyfriend. And, and, and I'm like, listen, this is not going to work out, obviously. Uh, you're divorced. You're in your 40s. Uh, time is not being kind to you. And it's only going to get worse. So I think I'm just going to nip it in the bud now. And I'll see you around. She got, like, lividly pissed. I mean, you weren't rude. No. You explained your position. You didn't 
shame or attempt to manipulate her in any way or uh, use it as a leverage point for shag nanigans. Well, just... I will not date on a permanent basis a woman who's been divorced because she if, already knows how to do the paperwork. Right? Yeah, well, she's already <laughs> she's emotionally flipped the switch in her brain pan against her former husband. She has raked him through the coals, took him into court. Once you do that, you get a taste for the power that you have, and power corrupts. Amen to this. Why would a sane man sign up for that? Fuck that. Unless you're just keeping around, you know, a hanger in the bar and hit, you know, it's a bullseye hit once in a while. <laughs> I, I understand. I got it. No problem. <laughs> or if you want to keep it casual and just maintain your own stuff, cool. That's fine, too. Yeah. But I can guarantee you, you, you move in with her or she moves in with you, you're going to wake up to boiling oil. Yes. Yeah, and all that just so you could worship at the church of Reaper Zero One and pray the Lord's Prayer. <laughs> <laughs> the Lord's Prayer. <laughs> oh, my Lord, please help me to not slip one by the gold. Oh, my Lord. <laughs> this is going to happen. Uh, don't, never mind, Lord, I'll just put it in your butt. <laughs> <laughs> Shit happens. <laughs> Disregard prayer. I'll put it in her butt. Disregard the penis in the corner. That's <laughs> <laughs> right up there. Oh, Mexican man. It seems like a Mexican kind of night. Donates kidney to girlfriend's mother. Gets dumped a month later as she marries someone else. This is this this is postal. This is the thing that causes men to go postal. Yeah, and if she got married that soon afterward, she was. She was tag, getting tag team, yeah, but they didn't know had, that they were uh, Eskimo brothers in the same wrestling ring. If you she know had his mean. replacement already in the bullpen. You tag his cock out and tag the other one in, and that's just how it works. That would be a hilarious sketch. <laughs> sketch. Bing. <Next. laughs> Bing. Steel cage match. Uh, tag team. <laughs> yeah, we call it them their uh, spit roasting. Oh, my God. The, the spit roasters versus the bushwhackers and fight. Oh, my God. God. So this guy works as a teacher. Well, listen, I, 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 how old is he? He looks like in his 40s. Oh, yeah. He's got some gray in the beard. There. All, right. All I can say is I hope he keeps health healthy for the rest of his life. And there's no more negative downside to this. Yeah. You know, it would really he, suck if he developed some kind of an autoimmune problem from, well, <laughs> from I mean, this. He, so. he's, been, he's basically been manipulated. Yeah. And he didn't even have to go to China to do it. No, no. And he still lost a kidney. Wow. Uh, Uziel Martinez from Mexico has claimed that he donated a kidney to his girlfriend's mother but was ditched less than a month later. He works as a teacher, and his story has gone viral on TikTok. In a series of videos, he explained how he generously helped to save his lady love's mother by donating an organ. But, oh, what? Not yeah. with the old. And with the new. Uh. But little did he know that even such a heroic act would not be enough to make his relationship work. They never are. No. Listen, I, I tried to be the, the captain save a garden tool a few times. <laughs> it always blew up in my face. And I learned my lesson, man. Yeah. I learned my lesson. His video hit 14 million views. And one person commented, don't look so sad. She lost a great gentleman. Keep moving forward and find the perfect woman who appreciates you. All right. No. I, no. No. no you're done not, after that's this. not how stuff like that works, no. unfortunately. No, for, I, I, I'm going to find, it's going to be hard for me to believe that this dude is going to get in some other relationship after that. Well, unfortunately, people have a type. And normally that type stems from their upbringing as kids. We tend to search out what feels normal to us, even if it's fucked up. I'm going That's to why help. people who are abused as children either tend to become abusers or remain permanent victims by courting abusers like yes. his ex hooer. Yeah, very seldom do people have enough uh, thinking meat to realize, wait a minute, I'm repeating the same stupid cycle. Over and, and over. over and over And we made a again. whole video about it. Yeah. If you have heard men or women say, all men are the same, all women are the same, it's because they repeated that cycle enough times. Yeah, it is what it is. And they haven't done the necessary legwork to just look at themselves in the mirror and be like, you're fucked up. That's right. You're picking them. 
you're the common denominator among all these. That's lures. hard. Stop it. It is hard. Yeah. That is really hard to look in the mirror and go, mm-hmm. you're fucking up, bro. I mean, now, are Western women out of control with oh, the yeah. amount of freedoms and privileges that they're given? Absolutely. <gasps> but, uh-huh. uh uh yeah. Men, that one's round. unfortunately, gave them those freedoms, and now they're being abused. Oh, yeah. They've, they've gone, I mean, literally, okay. um, I could see, like, bachelor taxes and all kinds of crazy shit coming down the pipe. Yeah. When the, the streamer, Amaranth, pulls in a million dollars a month from simps just praying to get a peek at a nipple. Yeah. That's, what's that one? that's the problem. What's that one? I don't want to say her name, but we were watching that one female on YouTube that that uh, you shoe yeah i mean she does she talks about a lot of the same stuff we talk about but we have way better editing and we actually put humor in there yeah she's crushing us in the subscribers oh yeah she's got a jump cut syndrome yeah which unfortunately has become normalized on youtube to the point where most people don't even notice it anymore but yeah you could i mean Le- Liam Neeson can jump over a fence with fewer cuts than shoe on head can complete a paragraph. Like wow. it's <laughs> that's how many jump cuts are in a lot of these videos that yeah. I see now. Yeah, I got gotcha, you. I got gotcha. you. But hey, it hey, is God what bless it is. her, man. Yeah, yeah. Hopefully, she can uh, sell those titties for lots of money. <laughs> but yeah, anyone who thinks that female privilege isn't a thing hasn't done some comparison shopping on female versus male YouTubers, oh, yeah. especially in the same wheelhouse. Oh, dude, it's insane. Yeah, because amaranth is about as interesting as a puddle of piss in in the winter. Like it's. Yeah, I've only watched maybe maybe half a dozen of her videos. Then okay. she, she doesn't she doesn't say anything. She literally just sits around and does like jacuzzi parties and licks the microphone pop filter. Yeah, yeah. Which doesn't work when you're using it because no. pop top pop don't have no filter. Oh, no. I wish this stupid bitch did. Itch. My life was in a rut until I discovered the joys of polyamory. Oh, my God. Well, all that's right, because polyamory all, is for narcissists. Oh, hang on. If your life is in a rut, it's called adulting. <laughs> it's not fun. I have no idea why these young kids want to become adults real quick because it is not fun. Taxes suck. Working 60 hours sucks. Going to war sucks. I mean, it's not fun. Once it's like, once you're about 35 and you're kind of set with your career and everything like that, it's Groundhog Day. Yeah, dunch, dunch, <laughs> dunch, dunch. Go to bed in the morning <laughs> and put your little hand in mine. <laughs> Fuck you. Stupid it's exactly alarm right, clock. man. It's the funniest, <laughs> funniest shit. The way. Every time he breaks that alarm clock, it doesn't matter how many times I see that movie, I laugh my ass off every time. And like, if your life is a rut, get a fucking hobby. Why ruin your marriage? Oh. oh, no. Within minutes of walking into her first sex party at the since-shuttered Chelsea Club Decadence, Dana Humphrey, <laughs> that is an aptly named woman right there, uh-huh. was attracted to a stranger in one of the so-called playrooms. Uh-huh. The place where guests dispense with the small talk and swiftly hook up. It was really easy and fun. All right. Yeah. You're a woman. That's how it is. You and you don't yes. have to go to a party for that. You could walk into CVS and proposition 10 strangers and get your tonsils buttled, buttered seven times. You go to one of those clubs, that's that's how you catch yourself a disease. Yeah, you know. I mean, she could kneel down by a hole in the wall and do the same thing. Yep. So, not <sighs> somebody a dick worm. Wow. <laughs> Everybody's already stripped down so you can see what their bodies are like. I think Gwyneth Paltrow went to a, quite a few of these parties. And then she sold candles. Yep. Mm -hmm. It's quite ridiculous. And now she's written all about her experiences Mm. in a a, a memoir called May All Beings Be Fed, Playing With Consciousness. Before this, she was a serial monogamist, self-described. She's 38 now, Uh which explains the... uh, all of the cement dust from the wall on her chin. Wow. Uh, chronicles her sudden transition for a woman who needed to be told what a three-way kiss was to a spiritual and sensual being who indulged in wild, simultaneous shagnanigans with people of both genders. Give it 12 years. Petri dish of disease. Oh, you Riggs! Got, you gotta say it right. It's a disease. It's a disease. You're going to wind up like Amy Horton, oh. Dana Humphreys. Wow. <laughs> That's her? 
And her, she's looking yep. rough, too. She's an adjunct professor by, at Baruch College by day. That is so great. Yes, w- this is the exact person that we want teaching the impressionable, almost adults as they go out into the world. Yeah, wow. Fantastic. I've been on a spiritual path for a while now. I'm sorry, what is spiritual about getting plowed within an inch of your life? Well, people use that word a lot, and I don't think they means what they think it means. Well... Women like this love subverting language. Mm -hmm. When they, you know, when they go to college to get filled out like a job application in triplicate, all holes filled at once, numerous times a week, three guys a day. Wow! um, Wow! They call it exploring my options. I'm I'm on a journey of self discovery. I'm trying to find myself. You're not gonna find yourself. Under a dude's taint. No. <laughs> no matter how much you, you, you lick around there and, and pick it up and try to try to look in the folds and, and figure it out. It's not going to happen. Well, I'm going to be honest. She's a, she's a professor. She's probably uber liberal. Her mind has been warped already. And she lost her ability to pair bond when she went to college. Well, every person I know who has attempted to partake in this nonsense. It always it implodes. It implodes, and they wind up lonely and miserable. And most of them wind up with, I don't know, syphilis scares, yeah. STDs, the gift that keeps on giving as it drips down your chin and down they your chest. They a <laughs> And it cracks me up because... There was actually, somebody posted a Reddit thread of our polyamory video, which if you haven't seen it, polyamory is narcissism, changed my mind. Look it up. It's a great video. I'm biased, but it's a really good video. We researched the shit out of it. Amen. They were whining about it. So like, well, he just he's insisting that it's just women. It's like, no. There's sources that explain that polyamorous relationships are initiated by women about as often as divorce is initiated by women almost 80% of the time. Why? Because any chick could just declare this on her social media platform. She'll have a line out the screen door and around her house. Within and, hours. And, like, if a dude suggests this, that means he's done and bored with you. Yeah. I mean, just look at any chick you know who declares that she's single on Facebook. She doesn't have to say that she's into this. Oh, I'm newly single. You know, I'm yep. just trying to find myself. She, it, it, within a, a week, it looks like she's laying down in a bed of sea cucumbers. <laughs> yep. <laughs> <It's> all... <laughs> oh, my God. God. <laughs> You're absolutely correct. That is a horrible mental image. I'm sorry I put that in all your heads. Wow. I'm just going to do this instead. <laughs> Bastard. <laughs> yes, I am. Oh, and now the last one of the night. I mean, if you thought that oh, okay. the other women on here couldn't possibly get more delusional, you were wrong. Well, first of all, she's really she's okay. Uh, she is what I call a a Pixar creation of plastic surgery. She has been worked on so much she's virtually computer animated. Okay. Playboy model says she's too beautiful for love as men are scared to date her. Way. Well, I'm going to be honest. If I come across a woman that's a Playboy model, I've met one in my day. I'm probably going to take a pass because it's expensive exactly there's a lot of drama and the juice is not worth the squeeze amen to that i probably like, can't show the next picture no, so i mean that is here. a very nice picture but it's you it's definitely been worked well on. you like, could tell she just walked out of the bump and grind shop because you can see the, look the at pipes her lips you see the pipes in the background that yeah. that attaches to a sink that's the bump and grind shop. So she literally <laughs> walked across a hallway, uh, a kitchenette, and she's now sitting in like a dining room esque living room thing. Seriously, yeah. look at her lips. She looked like a she duck. looks like she got punched in the mouth forty eight like times in a row. Yeah, <laughs> so I got you. It's, it's expensive, and it's just it's not worth it, man. And it's the same story every time. Here it is. It's the magical words that these women tell themselves when they're just a bitch. Yep. She struggles to find love because men are intimidated oh, by her lo- good looks. No, no, no. We just recognize when something is too expensive and not worth our time. Yeah, this woman is going to demand everything from you and offer. Nothing. Yeah, and those looks will be gone in five to ten years. <laughs> at the uh, at most, I would say, because 
as surgically enhanced as this woman is at such an early age, mm-hmm. um, she's going to have to maintain that. She's going to be going in for like weekly or monthly injections. She's going to have to get the boobs replaced. She's going to have to get the lips injected. Bills. Bills. There'll be lots of bills. Give me my bills. I don't think so, man. <laughs> I'm intimidating to guys because I'm tall and I'm beautiful and I have, oh, here we go, a very intense personality. What does that, that mean? Bob? That means a biatcha. Borderline Kuantaha. I would say a little bit of both. Although with the kind of attention that she's getting with two million thirsty simps on InstaTwat, I would say more like Kuantaha. Well, I'm sure, you know, I'm sure she's a stunning and brave, nice person. A but strong, I, independent woman. I just, I just don't need it. <laughs> oh, here we go. My ideal man is someone who's the strong but silent type. So you want somebody who is going to... Let you do what you want mm-hmm. and just shut up and pay for it. Now, I will say I uh, I did go out with a couple of Victoria's Woo. Secret models back in the day. And uh, it was like literally talking to a Pampers box. <laughs> just a box full of things and all they can do is gather piss and shit. That's, I mean, it's... They just soak it up. Yeah. I'm like, God damn. And sometimes they don't even soak it up too well. If there's enough of it, it spills out the sides and it gets all over the furniture. I mean, and it just comes down to like, what do you bring to the table? I know that people, women hate to hear that. But listen. It's the truth. If that's all you have is looks and poon, that that goes away and wears out. I mean, at least make me a sandwich when you're done. Yeah. You better be fit, feminine, and friendly. Just say it. <laughs> yeah, I, I fit, can over the triple F option: fit, feminine, and friendly. I can totally work. With I that. can overlook a lot of things if you have the three Fs. Yeah, and uh, you can say four Fs if you you know add yeah. fun in there. But uh, arrogant, overworked, and uh, overplasticized definitely not on the list. Hmm. I mean, yeah, yeah. She looks like a, a creation, a special effects creation. She comes from from the lovely planet of Avatar. You just paint her blue, and you'll let your mind do the rest. Gotcha. <laughs> it's going to be a problem. <laughs> oh, it's going to be a big problem. If she is hitting this point of her life now this early, because she's all of 20, mm-hmm. and she's had this much work done, she's this full of herself. If she doesn't strike while the iron is hot. It's done. Done. She's going to wind up holding a bong, walk around in public, doubled in size. <laughs> oh, she's even trying to bait the hook with a thirst trap. Check this out. I missed this scrolling oh, I through. I would 100% date a fan, but every time I've met a guy through my Instagram, they've just treated me like a commodity. Well. Because that's how they see you. And they're going to treat you how you portray yourself. Well, number one. All right. Let's do the uniform thing. You're going down the street. You see a man in a police uniform. What do you assume? You assume he's a cop. Mm-hmm. You see a guy driving a Department of uh, Work Public Works truck. He works for the city. Yeah. You're walking down the street. You see a woman dressed like a, a garden tool. <laughs> it's a uniform. Yeah. You're wearing it for a reason. And that's the image you're portraying. I'm yeah. just saying. If you don't want to be looked at like a whore, stop wearing a whore's uniform. That's absolutely correct. It is what it is. Bummer. All right. Now it's time for everyone's favorite part of Thought Thursday. Social media and dating profiles. Okay. Oh, here we go. This one actually comes from the UN, the Women of Albania. What? From Working Parent. Sent any day of the week to coworker. Subject, urgent request. Thank you for your message. Due to the patriarchy, I'm currently unable to respond immediately. Like many women, I'm working full-time while taking care of my children and household. But she, yeah. Women are twice as likely to work less than 40 hours, while men are yeah. twice as likely to work more than 40 hours. I think it's 36 hours. Yeah, and I, I guarantee that's probably even less in Albania. Please note that women do three times as much unpaid care and domestic work as men. We? Yes, because the house pays for itself. And well, the man totally doesn't contribute to the bills. That's right. <laughs> yeah, he doesn't go to work, risk his life. You know, because most of the time, 
was it 96% of all workforce deaths and injuries are men? Yeah. Feel free to forward this email to help recognize and redistribute unpaid care work once and for all. <laughs> uh, eat a dick. Yeah. When you become a homeowner, you have to take care of it. When you de- decide to shit out some crotch crickets from your vaginal turd dispenser, you have to take care of those. And why? Because that's what you're supposed to do. <laughs> Stop asking for sympathy for problems that you willingly stepped into and created for yourself. And you know where to find sympathy, right? In the dictionary between shit and syphilis. Absolutely correct. I got so mad the first time my sergeant said that to me. I was like, Ooh. Oh, but it's pretty funny. I'm like, he's right. You take a good burn. Yeah. Oh, this is a great one here. Boop. My boyfriend proposed wrong. Oh, my God. He's in the Air Force. Mm -hmm. Off we go. And he proposed to me in front of an airplane. I was so embarrassed because it's pathetic. I asked him nicely if he can propose to me somewhere normal like on the beach. He said he was extremely sorry and he will propose to me to be better next week. I'm so embarrassed. Oh, you know what you say to a woman like that? Bye. Bye. Oh, you don't like it? I, I will see you later. Update. Okay. He proposed to me today. He took me out to a fancy seafood restaurant, and then we went on a walk down the beach, and he popped the question. We're going to have our wedding very soon so I can get the benefits. And shortly thereafter? I love him so much. You loved him so much, you turned down his first proposal because it wasn't what you wanted. Yeah, they're not going to stay married. No. Very seldom do servicemen get married and stay married. More updates. Oh, here we go. Most of y'all have misunderstood this post, so let me make this a bit a little more clear. I'm not marrying him for the benefits. Uh, you just said that before. Most military couples get married quick because it makes the relationship easier, and obviously we know we will be together forever, so we wanted to get married quick so I can get the benefits too. Here's another thing that uh, I've noticed from the service. You get a lot of these guys go in the Army at 18 or the military. They, and that's an abrupt change. You literally leave your house with your parents or your mother there. You go to somewhere where you think everyone hates you. They kick the shit out of you. <laughs> they make you fucking work. And you, you miss that home life. Yeah. So they get married to these bimbos right out of like a, maybe, you know, a one month or two a year out of basic and AIT. They're just learning the ropes in the military. Yeah. And they have to deal, oh, and it all, it almost always blows up in their face. And think about it. Women who marry military men. Military marriages almost all end in divorce. In 33 years, I know like two people who've been married the entire time. Yeah, they almost all end in divorce. Mm-hmm. The reason why is because these women analyze the situation before they get analyzed while their, you know, soon-to-be husband is on deployment, if you know what I mean. Mm-hmm. And they think, hmm. So I get to be married. He's going to send home all of his money. I'm going to have free lodging and a place to stay. And, you know. Yeah, and he won't be here. And he won't be here. So I can just take off the wedding ring, go out and be a mondo whore the entire time he's gone. He's going to finance the whole thing. And then when he comes back, if he's in combat, I'm going to have a gift-wrapped reason to divorce him. Because war changed you. You're not the man I married, when? When I was at Fort Lewis. They do it all the time. When a unit went to the field or on deployment, that next Friday, it was crazy. It's insane amount of married poon in there trying to get diaka. Hey, well, I hear the the benefits at the, as a glory hole attendant. Uh, pretty good. Yeah, pretty and good. And then they become wamalos and brimalos and dependent potapuses. 401 kiaka. Yep. <laughs> Absolutely <laughs> correct. All right, next one here. There's a Tinder profile here. Brandy was her name. Of course it is. You're a fine girl. What a good wife you would not be. Mm. I'll make your whole week if you'll make my whole week. Mm. If you know what I mean. I shoplift from Metro. I do not shave my armpits and no need to pull out. I'm involved in an underground MMA fight club and no fetus can reside in my womb. What? I'm banned from all federal buildings, shoppers, drug mart, Walmart, and I have outstanding warrants in Saskatchewan, Alberta, and Manitoba. I may be 28, but I have the body of a 20-year-old. Don't believe me? Check my freezer. P.S. I wear dentures, which means I give great gummers. 
What? There's uh, what? Now you know it's fake, but it's so funny. Oh I had my to use God. it. <laughs> I, I'm like, that can't be real. You know what? I bet this was like a bet between her and her friends. Like, I bet you that, you know, I'm so good looking, I can post whatever the fuck I want, and I will still get Thirsty Sims trying to knock down my door and dick me down, and I guarantee you it still happens. I stand corrected. It's probably real because this is a Canadian woman. Men do the same thing. Yep. There was a dude who admit, who put in his profile on Tinder that he uh, loves the children. Oh. And because he was six foot three, ripped muscles, and had a picture posted with like a, a you know, button down shirt open showing his abs and chest, ladies were, were messaging him and matching him hand over fist. And that's probably what they're going to get. Yep. The fist. The fist. Just, oh, man. Oh. I almost forgot about this. Oh, no. This is one of the funniest things I've seen in a while. If you already follow us on social media, you may have already seen it, but it's too funny. What? Oh, no. I just recently started identifying as a boy. Oh, my God. I'm a girl. My boyfriend says that since I'm a boy now, that makes me gay. So he will only fuck me in the ass. <laughs> oh, my God. I hate anal, but I've been giving in. He doesn't even stop when I cry. Should I just go back to being a girl or keep letting him use my arsehole? What? It can't be real. Oh, my God. This is how you beat id pole leftoids at their own game. That is comedy You gold. take their logic and you follow it to its logical conclusion. And this is how you flip them on their head. Which is always an internal implosion. <laughs> yes. Or in this case, f flip it on its belly and then go to town. Oh, my God. <laughs> and make it cry. Oh. Yeah, it's just, I just have no appetite for that at all. <laughs> uh, Alcohol-related incident available you, upon request only? Yeah, that's it. Absolutely. That's it. I, and I got to be like Boop. six drinks deep before I even think about that. You see now, oh God! We already have like a Chinese truck full of red flags overturned on the expressway just with this photo. Anna is 37. 37. Looking for someone to deep dick me rapidly and repeatedly until my water breaks on your hog. And by hog, I mean penis. <laughs> She had to put that in parentheses. When it wow. breaks, you can keep going. I hear amniotic fluid looks like pickle juice and smells like hot ham. <laughs> After that, you can guide me through labor until the fruit of my womb bursts its way out of me face first. Oh, I'm getting alien flashbacks. Oh, my God. Six weeks and a couple stitches later, <laughs> I'll be ready to raw dog it again. Hit me up if you're man enough, daddy. <laughs> oh, my God. That can't be real. Oh, God. Why didn't anybody tell me? It <laughs> can't be real. I sincerely hope not. If she's trolling... That's an A+. Plus. If she's trolling, this is an absolute A+. Plus That's effort. an A-plus trolling effort, man. Yes. Anna, if you're joking and you're really, this isn't this isn't you being serious. If you're not joking, your life is fucked. <laughs> wow. Figuratively and literally. Insane. Oh, my. Oh, and here we go. Oh, it's good times. This comes from a fan. Okay. Actually, uh, there's a new dating app out there called HUD. Never heard of uh, it. Hookup. Uh, I forget what the D stands for. <laughs> I know what the D well, probably HUD? is going to mean for most of these people. But well, HUD is a government housing program. Yeah. Girl manages the account. Really looking for a few things. To get nasty with women solo and explore that. BBC, not the news network, for nope. solo play. Or to cuck my boyfriend. A couple to swing with. Anyone down for a three-way with me and my man, male or female? Now, the reason why I saved the picture for last... Oh, God. ...is because the dude doesn't look like a dude. Oh, he, no, first he looks like he has an 85 IQ. That's an insult to Forrest Gump. Oh, my God. She's got the poisonous tree frog hair. Yep. And he looks like he has swallowed more hog than she has. Yeah, he's mainlining soy. Uh, there, there is so much soy in this picture. I can't. Oh even. 
My God. It's almost as bad as this. <laughs> oh, God, no. <laughs> That's what <laughs> I always have to make him drink. <laughs> God, I hate that. Let's take a look at a nice ass before we. Oh, that's a good one there. Out with the old, in with the new. Ah. <sighs> All right, when we go to New Tech, I got to piss. Oh, we're going to go to no New Tech here in just a bit. No. But we still have to read the Super Chats before we do that. But since Pop has to take a piss, I think we can throw on... Uh... Deep fake? Yeah, deep fake. All right. Not? In fact, I have some new deep fakes. I still have to edit them together for this, but they are so choice. I haven't se- have I seen these? Not yet. Oh, my, you fucker. Shout out to Billy Von Baum. You're going to see those next week. Oh, my God. How you feel? You feel better? I'm much better. Feel about eight fluid ounces lighter? Mm, vaguely. Vaguely. Close yeah. enough. Six to 12. All right. <laughs> we got some people in the chat who are seeing those for the first time. Hope, hope you enjoyed them. <laughs> we're we're going to have some new ones for you next How many week. people we have watching? 940. It keeps like going up to 1,000 and then dropping. Oh, going up to 1,000 and then dropping. Yeah, shocker. I think, smell like it? this weekend on Sunday when I did the uh, supporter stream, Yeah. I had like seven, eight, seven or 18 people on standby. I activate the stream, drops Boom. to one. Drops to zero. Earlier, one. during this stream, we were at about 600 likes. All of a sudden, it dropped to zero for about 10 seconds and then magically came back. Oh, yeah. It's amazing how yeah, that works. Somebody's on there, like, messing around with stuff. <laughs> Got to put on your smoking jacket, man. Getting cold, man. Cold, man. You want for me? I'm old and cold. <laughs> <laughs> it rhymes. 96 people currently watching over on Twitch. Just jumped up to 97. Thank you all for tuning in over there. 110 on DLive. 193 on Odyssey. And 54 on MGTOW.TV. 933 currently watching on YouBoob. 799 likes. Smash it. That's almost 1,500 people. Smash it! Outstanding! Right, we're going to read your super chats, and then we're going to head on over to New Tech. All right. I'm going to save YouTube for last because it tends to take the longest. All right. Dun, dun, dun. Going down the list here over on Streamlabs. All right. Prime Minister Cheek Tattoo. Good to hear that Reaper hasn't been booty fucked or made the gimp by a pimp who ain't a simp. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's, he's still around. Uh, former fucker of pop sex ho... <laughs> No butt shipment tonight, but I'll compile one over the weekend. Stumping and crumping the pumping and dumping holes. Not. Avoid her ass, especially if she can fart a fire door off of its hinges. Wow! That is extremely detailed. Damn. That was pretty, that's a brutal Very hinge. nice golf clap for you. Donny side 13. Yes, toxic mayor. Let the clank flow through you. Yeah, I even have my own spoon tonight here. Check it out. Yeah. <laughs> Wheeled to a cult and the Second Amendment and cross the tankies. Nah, you guys keep up with the Theodore Edgecombe trial in Milf- Milfwalkie. Theodore uh, Edgecombe. 
No, no, I'm not. I haven't heard about that. Shoot me some info down the side. You know the drill. Uh, ever since the white Russian camping incident, I steer clear of foo-foo drinks. <laughs> okay, I need to know about this. Oh, no. Would be a great story if I didn't hear from a third party due to blacking out. Now I'll stick with whiskey. <laughs> yeah, foo-foo drinks, they sneak up on you, man. They do. It's the sugar. It's the sugar. So when you bottom out, you also bottom out from a sugar high? Well, and, and it's like double the punch. Almost all my blackouts were from Long Island iced teas and jungle juice. I told you about my, my buddy Mikey. We went out to uh, a dueling piano bar one night, and he was mixing like martinis oh. and Long Islands and all this stuff. And I, I forget why, but I, we were carting uh, this huge ass tube TV in the back of my car. Mm-hmm. And he's in the back snuggling it on the way home because he's so drunk. He's like, what? And then it was like either new moon or completely clouded overnight. I go and. I was with a, a chick, walked her into the house, and then as I'm going back out to see what's up with him, to see if he passed out in the car or whatever, I can't see anything, hardly anything. Mm-hmm. There's no lights on on my street. He's sitting across from me on the curb, and all I can see is this phosphorescent glowing vomit spewing out of his mouth. Nice. And I'm like, I think that's Mike. Either <laughs> that or the air is manifesting vomit. <laughs> I get him in the house, and he's hung over his shit the next day. But the spot where he puked, the grass was dead for six months. Wow. I don't want to know how all that mixed up. I don't know why it glowed in the dark. That's creepy. But It, it, it glowed it, in the dark? It glowed in the dark. It's the only thing I could see from across the street. Reaper Zero One could have hit on my street. Wow. As long as he kept his eyes closed. That's like some shit. demonic shit right there. It's, it's very much so. Wow. Crusader Nate, if truckers would park their trucks, this would stop the supply chain and bring this nation to its knees faster than Rangerette in the barracks. <laughs> right, Pop? <laughs> I, I, I've been saying that. I've been saying that. Yeah. Hey, keep going, man. That's why we support them 1,000%. Oh, if you just have it, if you just take the, the truck with the cab and you literally unhook the cab, and leave it at the border. Bye bye. And just go about your business. Yeah. If 50,000 truckers did that, it would take them months to clean that all up. Yeah. Months. Just, just like with Ina Che. Mm-hmm. If we just suddenly said, you know what? Screw you. We're going to start getting our goods from India and Taiwan. Bye. Yep. We would drop that country to their knees overnight. Yep. Be like, okay, you want to do business with us? That's fine, but you got to get rid of the communism. All 1.8 million Chinese spies that have been in this country and every level of our you know, government, whatever, you recall them all back to your nope. country. We're deporting them. They're out. No, no, we want their names so we can hang them. <laughs> that too. That could work as well. Yeah. No, there's none of this, you know, you can go home now. Nope. No, yeah. no. You're that's that's get a better the, idea. I, I withdraw my prior yeah, statement. You're going to get the one-way necktie. <laughs> <laughs> Extreme chiropractic. Yes. Yeah. Shark Denture is the most realistic Hollywood gunfight in recent memory involved Alec Baldwin. Zing. <laughs> <laughs> but uh. he didn't pull the trigger. Th- that's right up there with, I did not inhale. I cannot believe he hasn't been charged yet. Yeah. It's been fucking months. What the yeah. fuck a- are they Alec doing? Alec Baldwin not pulling the trigger is, is 2021's, I did not have sexual relations with that woman. <laughs> but, I'm t- but the thing is, is they have to... I shouldn't say they have to. They should have charged him by now because it's setting a terrible precedence. Yeah. Down to side 13 stupid. again. When I was jacked up on Ambien and Lamictal intelligence asleep, I drove to Walmart, brought a huge jar of peanut butter, stashed it under my bed, and found it still good months later. One of many reasons I refuse schizo pills for being a, sp- for being a spaz slash spurg. No. <laughs> hey, it wow. happens, man. It happens. Yeah, that'll do it. And peanut butter stays good for a long time. Peanut butter's good. Yeah. Faustonia with a $50 donation. Thank you. We're not worthy. We're not worthy. Thank you very, very much. Hey, guys, great content. This round is on me. A question. What is the name of that instrumental you guys play in the intro? I'd like to get a copy of that if possible. That is called The Grunt, and you can find it on Jeffrey Paul's YouTube channel. Just look for Jeffrey Paul, The Grunt. Boom. Custom music. Oh, he's the man. Uh, that music is good. And he also scored the uh, the the outro music for the Twilight Zone skit. Mm. And that track is called Let It Raid, I believe. Uh, Brigadier General Dump Hole Pumper. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Okay. <laughs> the dude 
in that last dating profile looks like he anally ingests soy. Yeah. That's some weird ass looking shit right yeah, there. Yeah, he uh, he gets some soy suppositories going on there without a doubt. You might Ooh. talk about that that dude just looks like his will has been broken. He's been raised as a chick and he's done nothing but soy to eat for Probably time. raised by a single mother to worship the ground that women walk on and somehow thinks that's gonna work out for him. Yeah. I mean the, the youth of today are like triple screwed. Yeah. Like I grew up in a single mother Not in a household. Good way. But now they're growing up in single households. You have the media machine you know, ripping these men down, and then the whole education system is against you as a dude. Yep. Wow. And virtually like, everything that you have been told about yourself as a man and how you should deal with women is a fucking lie. Yeah. Yeah. It is. It is absolutely. It absolutely they don't is. want nice guys. No. They want confident men who stand their ground and treat them like women. Because uh, I'm going to tell right? you right now, like I heard my mother say that a bunch of times, you just need to be a nice guy. It'll all work out. Oh, yeah. It'll all oh, work yeah. Out. Yeah. You did that, and guess what happened? Yeah, I got hammered. Villainous Jack on MGTOW.TV. When truckers are responsible for starving babies in cities that support mandates, should I invest in trucker unions or hunger games <laughs> like entertainment companies? Why don't you to split the difference? <laughs> yeah, split the difference, yeah. Yeah. I'm sure that uh, they'll go fund me. We'll cancel the truckers unions uh, stuff as well because they're assholes. Kira Ninja 00. Pop, remember the crazy versus hotness scale? That Playboy model is a 7 or 8 in hotness scale, in my opinion, but I'm sure she is a 10 in crazy. Just saying. Yep. That's why when I looked at it, I'm like, nope. And the thing is, when you see a woman like that, when you rate her on the hotness scale, you have to put an asterisk next to it. What's well, it's D&E. Well, yeah. Drama and expensive. Well, and you know that on top of that, she's got so much fucking war paint on, you could dig a war trench in it with your finger if you just wiped it across her face. Uh, also, I mean, she's she's probably had, you know, 10 stories of Kiaka run through her. <laughs> you put a platform at that, it's, it, you're dying. You oh, push yeah. them off, they're done. They're if she's that narcissistic to have that much plastic surgery at the age of 20, oh, yeah, she got off to an early yeah. start. She's got all kinds of Diaka prints in there. I bet she behaves, acts, and thinks, and has the emotional maturity of a 13-year-old because that's when men started giving her attention. Um, you're probably correct. Yeah. Yeah. Think of the mental age of most women you know. That's probably when they started getting attention from men. And they were like, okay, I'm good. Why do you think like 40-year-old women who've been married since they were 17 behave insufferably like teenagers? That's when they stopped growing up. Yep. Oh, goodness gracious. And yes, we uh, the crazy versus hotness scale. If you have another one that we did, the reality... Uh, what was it called? The Reality Matrix. The Reality Matrix, then Fun With Numbers 1 and 2. Yep. Well, the Reality Matrix was in direct response to a chick making her own response oh, yeah. to the crazy hot matrix. Yeah, we got all kinds of hate mail from her. Oh, she was so she, pissed. She took the video down. <laughs> And she great. threatened to sue us and, and threatened us with a copyright strike. I'm like, that's not how it works, honey. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I, I, listen, you put it out there on YouTube, and I made a counter video, and you got yeah. upset. We've had people do videos of me. Do I get upset? No. Oh. There is a hideous fucking wildebeest of a uh, uh, she-him person yep. who makes videos about you because she has nothing better to do, and I'm assuming it's a her just because of the name, but nowadays you never know. Yeah. We're not going to engage that. Or Kazumi. Kazumi. I actually sent him an email saying that was a great video. Thank yeah. you very yeah, much. Fat Santa, yeah. <laughs> Kazumi. <laughs> fat naked Santa. They, oh, oh, man, when I made that man China video, wow. Oh, he was so mad about that. So many people got butt hurt. We, we need to do another one of those. I am all for that. Go back, watch the original. We'll do wow. an update. Oof. The man China. <laughs> maybe we'll get, maybe we'll get Kazumi in your inbox again. Oh dear! Well, that male in the profile that you showed—that's that's a mangina right there. <laughs> yes, ballistic what zero. What is there to understand? You said I'm getting divorced, married for the benefits. So excited! Not me, but what do I know? <laughs> I only have every service member I ever worked with be happily divorced. <laughs> yep. Yep. I, I think I had a squad leader who retired as an E8 when I was in the Ranger Battalion, and he's still married to his original wife. She was actually pretty cool. Huh? Yeah. I'm not going to say his name because he'll kill me. <laughs> <laughs> Ballistic Zero again. Men cry when they are on deployment and their bank account shows their wife spent 5123 at CVS at 7 a.m. Plan B to the rescue. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Ooh. You know, Brad Pitt 
His production company is called Plan B. And I find that ironic as fuck because he's got eight kids. Uh, well, I'm going to tell you right now, karma got him in the ass because back in the day, he was banging Mike Tyson's wife. That'll do it. But who wasn't? Caleb Bond, <laughs> my dead grandfather's left pinky has more testosterone than that man child. Yep. <laughs> wow. Amen. Uh, my dead grandfather's left pinky has more ball juice than that man child. <laughs> Two different deviations on the same theme there. I like it. Okay, okay. Francois Le Chatin, good evening, dear Mr. Papun de Herr Kleiner. Speaking of sorts, have you ever seen some of this kind of ads from lounge underwear on the web? Let me tell you that the woman there is wearing such tight and skimpy lingerie that it leaves nothing to the imagination. What with under boobs and pokies. I have only noticed it of late. To me, that seems quite sudden in the world of advertising. Not, to my, not that I mind, personally, but that still looks quite strange to me now. What if something like the globalist cabal used such things to take advantage of the beat thinking guys? Eh? Mm, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Men, especially younger men, are very easily manipulated by Poontang. Oh my God! It is. Are. It's it, it's historic. It's oh yeah. It's, it's like they've waged whole wars over the Poon. Barely have to try. Yeah. Uh, Michael Simmons, question for all: What is y'all's favorite way to eat booze? <laughs> uh, on ice, on vanilla ice cream. Yes. Oh, that went down my sleeve. <laughs> Bastard. Yeah, I like blended drinks, ice cream. I enjoy that. Ice cream much. always makes everything better. Yeah, every once just in a while ask, you find a decent uh, chocolate with like whiskey inside. Well, just ask Brandon. He's always eating ice cream. I don't have Alzheimer's. <laughs> <laughs> Logan Dennis with a four ninety nine donation. Your comment is either deleted or you didn't have one. We appreciate it though. Thank you very much. Uh, Miru Eller. My dad works in an ER, and he said he's never seen so many heart attacks in all his years in the medical field. I know. Between one and three a day. You can't hide the numbers. You know, in fact, my graduating class has had three people die, heart attacks and strokes. And if you followed us to New Tech the other night, you know all about the uh, problems in the military. Uh, stuff like neurological conditions going up a factor of ten. One, yeah, a factor of ten, one thousand percent increase in ten months compared to a five-year yeah, average. average. You, listen, you can't, you can't hide the numbers, and you can't hide the money forever. Cancers up like everything. It went from like thirty five thousand to one hundred fifteen thousand. Wow! It went from thirty eight thousand for a five year moving average to one hundred twenty thousand in, in ten, ten months. months. Wow! Just a coinky dink, right? Wow! The wall, Ukraine strategy one: arm all citizens, not including Russians. Two: harass people Russia want to protect to make it public. Set up ambush points for when they come to stop it. Three, ambush Russian convoys when they come to destroy primary, to destroying primarily equipment where possible. Four, force Russia to look bad in the media while eliminating the positive side of cost-benefit analysis to them. Yeah, it's, it's, it's called guerrilla warfare. Yeah. It's nothing new. Yeah, and it's yeah. nothing that they would be prepared for oh, they if are. Ukraine were an armed society. Uh, it definitely makes everything way more difficult. Yeah. Way more. Mm -hmm. Jeff Schroeder with a $20 donation. Thank you very much. The only 304 I see is in Pop's socks. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he burned those. Yeah, I've got a couple pairs like this. I should probably buy new ones. Yeah, he set his combat boots on fire. <laughs> well, listen. You go to the field. It's 60 degrees. A day later, it's 20 fucking degrees. But all your snivel... It's for 40 to 60 degrees. Yeah. So guess what? You become friends with fire. That's Sometimes a little too friendly with fire. Yeah, I burned my boots. Okay. <laughs> uh, I actually did that once, uh, New Year's Eve. Had my feet by the fire. And I was like, oh, yeah, my feet feel so toasty. This is great. And I go and I walk back in the house. I take off my shoes to go use the restroom. And I, I accidentally kind of kick one over on its side. And I look down. And all of the tread had melted down the shoe. <laughs> yep. That happens. It does. Philip Oliver Holes. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are cracking me up. Pops, I'm giving a convoy brief tomorrow for my E6 school at Knox. Any words of wisdom for the brief? Well, um, one, don't fuck it up. Two, 
if you give your convoy brief like an operation order, you can't go wrong. You're not going to miss anything. Just go down the list. And, like, for instance, you're going to get the op order for what you need to do. And you just take that op order you get from your company, take all the relevant information, write your own op order for your specific uh, area you're operating in, and then you just you just brief situation, mission, execution, command and signal, service and support. Can't go wrong. Boom. Uh, he further explains here, I'm an 88M, so anything outside the box or battle drills. So. Gotcha. All right. Andrew Tremier with a dollar Canadian. Thank you. Uh, no comment there. So if you had one, Susie Q got rid of it. Reaper Zero One, dream come true. Finally got on the stream and share a fresh Wango Tango. My nephew Razor O2 is laughing his ass off. <laughs> shout out to the chat. And shout out to our youngest fan. Uh, that was, that's actually uh, a 10 year old kid. That's awesome. It's pretty awesome. Uh, Keith Peterson with a dollar super chat there. Thank you very much. Uh, no comment there, so it's missing. Uh, Klein Dropper, this makes me so sad. I fell in love with Bridget from Point of No Return. Mm hmm. Oh, yeah. I mean, you can still relive the good old days. Just go on to like aznew.com and search her name. You can have some fun. And that woman that was in uh, Top Gun? Yeah. That's another one. Oh, man. <laughs> That, she hit the wall so hard it left a Bugs Bunny hole going through to the other side. Yeah. James L., Bridget Fonda, and the making of the flying squirrel suit. <laughs> yep. Oh, my God. <laughs> totally true. Yeah, if they call her out of retirement, they're not going to call her out like that. She's going to have to go to fat camp. Uh, she's Just gonna, like Carrie she's Fisher. She's going to have to do a lot of stuff. Yeah. Robert Anderson. Oh! oh dead nuts. Dead nuts. Oh. Robert Anderson says, file this story under Thought Mommies in the Club. <laughs> okay. Damon Wolf MGTOW, what's that mental disorder where you sympathize with your captor? Uh, uh, Stockholm Syndrome. Yeah, it's a Russian name. Something. Yeah, stop. Uh, Sean Grady, hi guys, my brother is a Marine now on ship duty. What is some good stuff to send him? Well, you send him stuff that he can't like get, but you really can't go wrong with booze. Uh, I would say send him drugs, but that's not going to work out so well if you're in the military. <laughs> Porn. Yeah, I was going to say stroke mags. There you go. Video games. That's a big one. You find out if he's got a laptop, Xbox, PlayStation 2, and you can buy, you know, like for instance, Xbox One, you go to play it again or whatever, and you can buy four or five games for dirt cheap, send it to him. Yeah. Why so, not? Yeah. Uh, Rusty Shackleford. She went looking for a kidney. She sought that dude out. That's pretty much. That's, that's very possible. Saw the victim, and you. Uh, yeah, because if she got married only a month later. Yeah, she manipulated it. Manipulated him. Yeah, he got the diaca. She noodle sluged him, led him around by his penis, and walked him right into the surgical suite. Robert Anderson, polyamory is, a, polyamory is a beautiful thing to a woman until she realizes her man has other options. But he will never have as many options as his chick. Well, actually, he will if he walks the way. Because, well, you're right. He won't have as many options. Because all she has to do is say yes. He actually has to be tall, charming, yeah. in shape. We need to do money. a video called <laughs> Bachelor Work of all the shit you got to do to get ready for pussy. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> Write it down. Tom Cat, following quietly for six years or so, you've 100% helped me through a daily buck or slug dilemma. Been a number on your no sucky the shoddy list for years, just making it official. 413. 413. Salute, gentlemen. 413. Going to update the website after the show. Thank you very much, good sir. And Tom Cat, make sure you write that down. Tom Cat. Tom Cat. Cat with a K. The paranormal soldier with a donation got invited over to a friend's house. His sister made menudo, beef empanadas, and pineapple coconut empanadas. That they is, were, she is Hispanic, either from Cuba, Dominican, Dominican Republic. That's pretty much where they do the banana stuff yeah. in those two countries. Uh, they were delicioso, but... Oh, hang on. Uh, I saw that one. Ah, uh, there we go. I am suffering. She has a nice body, says. Blake, can I please get a... Pop, I'm pooping it. I think we can manage that. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not going to tell you where that sound effect came from. Uh. <laughs> uh, Big Dan in L.A. So the Fed wants to regulate digital assets. 
Bitcoin. Yeah. Good luck with that. Yeah, good luck. The with whole that. world does not want that to happen. No. Once the government gets involved in it anything, fucks everything up. Name one thing the government has dipped its nasty ball sack in that it hasn't completely fucked up. Ugh. Oh, I'm Fuzzy sure. Wanderer. He proposed wrong. Yes, he proposed to the wrong woman. That's absolutely correct. Yes, she's disgusting. Listen, if you're ever with a woman and she throws anything like that in your face, like especially like that, it's not the woman for you. No. If it has to be the perfect proposal or she oh, yeah. says no, fuck that. Yeah, like when I Move proposed on. to my my ex who her wife, I literally woke up, took the ring out, put it on her finger while she's asleep, and went back to bed. <laughs> Romantic. <laughs> she was upset about it, but I can't. Of course, but you know what she sounded just like here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wah, wah, wah. Wah, wah. <laughs> yeah. I, and I, I spent a lot of money on those two rings, man. I'm so sorry. I, I mean, literally, it was a Barrett sniper rifle. Ooh. Wow. Oh, fail. Tanker Boy Sabo, I was really hoping to be here at 1700 Pacific Standard Time, but no, the RR had other plans. <laughs> Damn it. Yeah, what are you going to do? Fan Sorry. I am with $50 Australian. How thank you. Thank you. We're not worthy. We're not worthy. I just emailed you one of my favorite jokes. Uh oh. All right, let's check it out here. Is it mine here? That's not it. <laughs> Got to check it out here. What email you sent it to? Yeah, it's always the thing. You always got to let me know which email you send it to. Otherwise, I got to go poking around in two of them. We should just sell it. Have everyone Fan I am joke everyone. right here. So two guys are talking. One guy says to the other, have you ever gone to say something, but it came out backwards? How do you mean? Like the other day, I was at the station, and I went to ask for two tickets to Pittsburgh, and what t- came out was, can I have two tickets to Pittsburgh? Haha, <laughs> I know what you mean. Just the other morning while I was having breakfast with my wife, instead of saying, can you pass the sugar, honey? Instead, what came out was, you ruined my life, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I like it. It's a good joke. Yeah. Outstanding joke. Uh, I appreciate the sense of brotherhood and belonging you guys create. Thank you very much, good sir. Michael Morgan listens to Blake Reed Anna's dating profile. Me. Yep, that's enough internet for me today. <laughs> Yep. <laughs> the, the water breaking on the hog thing. I'm just like, ah. Wow. Daniel Way. If the Rebel Alliance is winning, what do you think about the state bringing in foreign troops to wage war against us? Eh, it's not going to happen. Oh, oh, no, no. Don't say it's not going to happen. They might try. They might try, but that that will not go well. No. Yeah, the gun behind every blade of grass in this country. No. Yeah, that's it's not going to work. beyond that. You're going to have mining companies basically using explosives. Yep. You're going to it's people are going to go nuts. And listen, the expertise that's out there because we've been at war for two decades and most of those people are now either veterans or civilians. Yeah, people who are trained in the real military, and, not the woke military. And did it for real? Yeah, those are the people that they're not going to handle that well. No. That is not going to well i'm not saying it's never going to happen but that that'd be supremely unwise it would be very unwise 1997 heritage my apologies if this topic has already been late to the stream what do you guys think about the not so secret flights in the states of illegals i think it's a bunch of horse shit and every single governor of a red state needs to have a watch out so when that fucking shit happens those people get rounded up driven down to the southern border and catch and release fuck them Yep. Fuck them. The fact that this is still happening, and it's... Yeah. Mm. And then, and, and then of course, you know, we have to deal with, you know, well, they actually, Alzheimer's primetime saying inflation's a good thing as a result of all the money he's wasted on this bullshit. Well, and there's also uh, one of the officials basically is not caught on camera saying that uh, the administration has betrayed America with the whole... Um, they have crisis thing. Which they it's are, accurate. It's they accurate. are traitors. What they're doing and how they're doing it, because it's without the consent, without the vote, without the legislation of the American people or our representatives, it's no. treason. Well, and they know they can get away with it because they have immunity. Yep. Which that needs to fucking qualified change. immunity needs to go bye bye. It needs to be severely modified. Yeah. Needs to go bye bye. Affirmative action needs to go bye bye. A lot of things need to go bye bye. Yep. Just like us. 
for now, but just from YouTube. We're going to go bye-bye for about the next five minutes. We're going to switch on over to New Tech. So I will be placing links in the chat for you guys so you can follow them directly to the streams. And if you haven't yet signed up for an account on one of these sites, do it. Sure. What are you doing? YouTube is, is booting people like Bongino. How long do you think we got? Yeah, just we're, we're fucked. All right, so for those of you who don't follow us, we'll see you Tuesday. The rest of you, we'll see you in just a few minutes. See ya! <laughs>